Yeah, today we're talking about neck training. Uh, extremely vital area, especially for all collision sports. Uh, mainly dealing with football, hockey, uh, baseball, even soccer is proven to have a lot of injuries uh, in training the neck. Um, lots of different ways you can do it. What, it, what I'm going to show you right now is how we train it manually. This is going to be the main way that we train the neck. Uh, a couple different rules that we need to understand before we start. So you can train it in four different ways. Okay, flexion, extension, and lateral flexion on each side. So we're going to train it first from the back. Okay, he's going to do a couple reps from each direction. So you have him laying his back, have him scoop. So he's got just enough room so he can get full extension here and flexion from here. Uh, what I'm going to ask him to do from the start, I'm going to say squeeze your chin to your chest. Okay, and I'm going to take my hand. I'm going to try and get a point at his head where I'm perpendicular to his head. All right, and I'm going to keep that pressure at the same angle the whole time. And hit my job is to resist him. He's pushing into me the whole time. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say put pressure on Chris. So I, once I feel he's pushing, now I can start to slowly lower him down. Notice I'm shifting my weight to my right foot here, hit the dot bottom, and I'm going to come back up. Okay, and he's just, he's not relaxing. He's keeping tension on my hand the entire time. Push on my hand, push, and resist. Don't relax, don't relax, don't relax. And down, down, and right back up right there. Keep pressure on me. You can use your left hand also if that's going to give you a little more stability right underneath his chin. Okay, keep pushing on my hand, resist. Notice my arm is locked out. I'm not bent. I'm not pushing like this. I'm just shifting my weight from foot to foot and driving up. Pressure, pressure, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. When they start to fatigue, you'll feel inconsistencies in that tension. You don't want that. You want them to fight and just keep constant tension the whole time. Down and drive up. Pressure, pressure. Don't let them twist or squirm around, okay? Just keep tension on me the whole time. Push on my hand, last rep right here, Chris. Push, push back up, tension. Ten, up, up, come on, resist. Down. And right there, up. We don't want to jam his neck down. We're still trying to keep perpendicular pressure on that forehead. Squeeze the finish. Squeeze my hand. Squeeze my hand and relax. Good. Now he's going to go on his side. His armpits on the edge of the bench right here. Hips up. Now we're looking the same deal. We want squeeze down. Relax. Relax it down and up. You don't want him to curl down or extend. All right. We're still staying in this same plane on the side. Right, I'll just do one rep on this side. It's the same exact technique, so I'm going to start pushing my hand, perpendicular pressure, push on my hand a little more, Chris, resist, push a little more, don't let me push you down. He's resisting the whole time, keep going, and a little bit further, right there, now drive up, keep tension on me, drive through, pushing through that wall right there, good. Same for the other side, the last one you're going to do is back neck and then lay in your stomach. You want his collarbone on the edge of the bench here. All right, this one is going to be the strongest portion, so you're going to have to apply a little bit more pressure. Always have him start at the top here. Same technique. Push on my hand, Chris. A little more push. Push. He's giving all effort, 100% the whole time. Resist down and drive up. Keep tension on my hand the whole time. And now it's just real slow and controlled movement. Nothing is, nothing is fast. Nothing is out of, uh, you know, no jerky movements at all. Down and keep tension on it. Drive up. Good. Get a little pause at the top. He's holding. He's, he's still got pressure on me. He never relaxes. Never real slow on the way. Ah, ah, come on. Let up for a second. Down and drive up. Press. There. Now he's working. Good. Good. Keep driving. Now don't let me push you down. Resist. Hold. Hold. Ah, come on. Resist. You don't push down. As the coach, the guy that's training, you don't push down unless he's pushing in your hand. Unless you don't. You have to feel that tension first. And then once you feel the tension, then you can uh, allow him to go through the repetition. Down that last rep right here, Chris. Drive up. Finish. Finish. Don't use your back. We're just training the neck. Don't let him score around. Don't let him push down off the ground. Okay? You want to relax the whole time, or want to have his arms relax, so we're just training the neck. Uh, along with that, you want to make sure you're shrugging, keeping that, training your traps also. Um, the larger we can make this, your neck is a cylinder, the more surface area that's going to have. When you have impacts from you know, playing the game of football, uh, that impact's going to have more surface area to dissipate. All right? And we can maybe possibly take a little bit uh, of the concussive forces off of the brain. Um,
that's a very important thing now with the research coming out. So uh, make sure we train that thing right, slow, nothing jerky about it. All right.